That was uh, some video, home video, of uh, little Zoe Ganesh. And uh, we are joined now by uh, Karthik Ganesh. And I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, Karthik is the founder of the Zoe Ganesh DIPG Research Fund. And you're going to see a website up throughout this segment. And we'll set up, uh, while we're doing this program, uh, in an effort to raise awareness and uh, hopefully uh, try to make a difference. Um, Zoe Ganesh, your daughter, um, was fine, five years old. And in June 2012, things began to change. So June 2012, she turned five. She graduated from pre-K. Um, she went for her annual physical. Everything turned out extremely well. Then suddenly in August, she started complaining of double vision. Her eyes crossed. Her gait became unstable. We took her to her pediatrician a number of times, and they basically said she might have farsightedness. So we took her to an optometrist. We got glasses on. Nothing improved. And um, we took her to um, the ophthalmologist on August 29th at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, which is you know, the leading institution in the country, in the world, quite frankly. And um, they said, you know, her power is very high. We need to get her a higher powered glass, set of glasses. And, um, but it doesn't look like there's a tumor here. That Friday, then the following morning, and we've now been done the pediatrician round about five times already, she once again, she, she got up in the morning and she puked. And we took her into the pediatrician and, uh, you know, he basically was still trying to figure out what she'd eaten the previous night and we said, no, we need a, cat, we need a CT scan done now and uh, we want to know what's going on. They found a mass in her brain stem. They asked us to go into Philly again to the children's hospital to CHOP. And, um, on September 1st, they diagnosed that she had an inoperable brainstem tumor, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, which is um, DIPG. DIPG. Correct. How rare? Very rare. It, um, it occurs in the pons of the brainstem. So, you know, for the folks who don't know, the brainstem controls all of our functions, automatic functions, swallowing, consciousness, heart rate, breathing. And um, it's the oldest part of the brain. She had a brain stem. She had a tumor in the brain stem. Um, it happens to about 200 kids annually. They last anywhere from 12 to 18 months after diagnosis. She didn't make it past her fourth month. It is, um, the survival rate is 0%. So um, it's almost the, the holy grail of cancers. I mean, just to put that in perspective, if detected early, lung cancers today have an 80% survival rate. Breast cancer is 80 to 90 percent. Mm. Even leukemia is now close to 50 percent. This is zero. Zoe struggles. She fights. Um, she's your hero. She is. Um, your son is born, I believe, on November 1st of 2012. That's right. Um, on November 23rd, uh, Zoe asks for ice cream. That's right. One of her last meals, I think. Her last meal was ice cream. And on the 25th, she passes. That's right. Um, and uh, so you lose your daughter, uh, and you make a decision. And we should also make a connection. We have a connection through our mutual friend, Annette Catino at Qualcare, and Allison Hoffman, who right. um, and we, we all talk about these Absolutely. things. And, and, and your situation, uh, Zoe's situation, was known by a lot of people. And you decide how quickly that you're going to start this foundation. The next day. And the name of the foundation is? It's the, Zoe Gane it's the Lucille Packard Foundation. It's at the, the Stanford University School of Medicine. Why did you have it there? Stanford arguably has one of the most progressive research programs on DIPG right now. I mean, DIPG has been significantly underfunded. Um, there's a parent that actually donated the tumor, the kid's tumor, to Stanford. And Stanford's been working on live tumor tissue for a number of years now. And Dr. Michelle Manje at Stanford you know, arguably has, you know, has uh, more of a start, if you will, than the others in terms of research. And they're doing uh, important work. They're doing very important work. And the name of the foundation is in Zoe's name. It's Zoe Ganesh Research Fund at the, the Lucille Packard Foundation. And you put up $100,000 to start? We put up, uh, our target's $100,000. We're right. at 52 right now. Uh, friends, family, strangers. Uh, it's been um, it's been very very overwhelming. 
the level of support for this. And people are going to go on that website that we have right there and, and uh, they could Google as well. And the easiest way is to Google Zoe Ganesh and it's the first result that shows up. What's your objective? Awareness. This is incredibly underfunded. You know, Neil Armstrong's daughter died of this in 1959. 54 years later, there still isn't a cure. In the last 30 years, there's been virtually no progress on this. Now again, to put it in perspective, the, cancer, the National Cancer Institute spends less than 3% of their funds on pediatric cancers, and a very small percentage of that goes towards pediatric brain tumors. The American Cancer Society spends 70 cents on every $100 it's 0.7% towards pediatric cancers. Again, a very small percentage of that goes towards pediatric brain tumors. This is about awareness. Really hoping, I mean, Jersey is the pharmaceutical capital of the world. I'm really hoping that there's a pharmaceutical exec out there who's watching your show, someone really influential who's watching your show, who thinks to himself, Zoe could be his or her daughter, grandkid, nephew, niece, and says, we've got to do something about this. 200 kids is in critical mass for some of these pharmaceutical companies right. to be interested. And I'm hoping someone says the heart's more important than the wallet. Your uh, wristband. It's, uh, it's grave for um, pediatric brain cancer. Steve, get a shot of that. I'm going to see if Steve can get it. Say what it is? It's cure DIPG. And brain cancer. Brain cancer. Tell folks just for a minute, just tell them about Zoe. Loved dinosaurs, loved sharks, loved ballet, performed um, to Swan Lake. This is That's her. She performed on stage to Swan Lake as a part of her pre-K graduation. For a five-year-old, she wanted to be a, a paleontologist ballerina. And um, just incredibly inspirational. I've lost her, but I couldn't be more thankful that she was a part of my life. That's your favorite picture? That is my favorite picture of her. Why? She loved the puffin on it. And she looks like the puffin in it. <laughs> um, well, the parents watching out there, what do you say to them? Pediatricians know a lot. They don't know it all. Trust your instinct. No one knows your kid better than you. And um, if you're not comfortable, don't hesitate to ask because um, farsightedness would have been the general rationale for virtually every doc out there. And that wasn't the case. I mean, we knew something was fundamentally wrong with our daughter. And, um, and this was a girl who had absolutely nothing going on that seemed improper, or incorrect, mm. even two months prior to that. So I'll just say, trust your instincts. This could be any of your kids. Karthik uh, Ganesh, founder of the Zoe Ganesh DIPG Research Fund. We thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, hopefully we've raised some awareness, and uh, you'll continue to raise money. And um, keep us posted, okay? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Stay there. Thanks, Karthik. Thank you. We'll be right back right after this.